I'm not sure how I agreed to this, let alone planned it. I wasn't a cyclist. The furthest I'd gone in a day was only 20 kilometers. My bike was hardly a month old. But here we were, starting out, planning to ride 2,500 kilometers across the province and back, carrying two ridiculously heavy kayaks behind us. And we did it. There were times when we thought we were crazy. The weight was insane. But every time we got to a lake, we unfolded our kayaks and set up for a paddle. We knew we'd made the right decision. Every day of pain and every morning that I woke up sore was worth it. Just because every night we got somewhere beautiful, somewhere wild to recharge our souls. When you cycle across a province for six weeks, it's not all rosy. Sometimes you get sick of unpacking and repacking, leaving out of a sleeping bag, never having access to showers, and sometimes not knowing where you'll end up at night. But life's full of great surprises. You don't end up in places like this if you don't leave the comforts of your own home. It's places like this that make the struggle worthwhile. People sometimes ask me what part I like the most. Where was the best? The Rockies are beautiful, one of my favorite places in the world. There's no denying their beauty. But it was all the things that we didn't photograph that I liked the most. It was watching Kieran zoom up those hills, not taking a break, just because he knew I wanted to get to a campsite at sunset. It was the people we met along the way. The complete strangers honking their horns, cheering for us, giving us that morale boost we needed to get over those hills. The people who offered us campsites when every campground was full, who delivered coffee and eggs to us in the morning to give us a little bit more fuel for the day. We knew we were in for some amazing views. Besides all those iconic spots, there's a million more places that are just as beautiful. Places where people don't go, that don't end up in the magazines, that are unconventionally beautiful. If I had to pick a favorite spot, I know it's cliche, but I'd say all of it. And if I had to give a piece of advice, to anyone wanting to do the same. I'd say just go. Pack your bags, get on your bike, and just go. I promise you won't regret it.